Hello everyone. So I am back today with a super useful video for all my dear students of class 10th. आज आप सभी हिंदी का एग्जाम देकर आए हैं एंड नाउ इज द टाइम टू स्टडी साइंस सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अ स्ट्रैटेजी अ स्मार्ट स्ट्रैटेजी टू कंप्लीट द एंटायर सिलेबस ऑफ साइंस इन द नेक्स्ट थ्री डेज एंड ट्रस्ट मी दिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी वेरी स्ट्रेसफुल विथ ईज यूल बी एबल टू कंप्लीट द एंटायर साइंस सो अगेन वी विल स्टार्ट विथ डे जीरो डे जीरो बींग टूडे बिकॉज आवर प्रिपरेशन स्टार्ट राइट नाउ day 1 day 2 and day 3 and we will be done with class 10th science let's get started so in 10th science we have physics chemistry and biology and we cannot ignore any of these so what we plan to do today on day 0 is we will cover two very very important chapters of physics because today we are just starting our preparation we are not in a hurry because we have three more days so with a cool brain we will complete two lessons that is light reflection and refraction and human eye and the colorful world so these are the two lengthiest lessons in physics and also you get a lot of derivations lot of logical questions as well as numerical problems. problems from these two lessons so let us spend the entire evening today and learn these two lessons in detail on day 0 we are going to cover two most important lessons of physics that is light reflection and refraction and human eye and the colorful world even though we are covering only two lessons but you can still expect around 4 to 5 questions from these two lessons so from the lesson light some of the important topics are ray diagrams you just need to be thorough with how to draw ray diagrams both for spherical mirrors as well as lenses power of a lens mirror formula you can expect numericals based on mirror formula refraction examples now these are some short questions that might come from these topics like why do stars twinkle the reason behind sunrise sunset and uh, the reason behind why the sky is blue in color so these kind of questions might come use of mirrors like where do we use which kind of spherical mirror and snell's law these are some of the very important topics of light uh when it comes to human eye and colorful world prism the phenomenon of dispersion parts and function of eye and defects of eye and also the correction for each defect so these are the some of the important topics in fact i would say the reason why i have kept the entire evening only for two lessons is you should be able to thoroughly revise these two lessons so as you can see here both of these lessons are high priority lessons so yesterday we studied two important lessons on physics so today we are not going to study physics anymore so we will spend our day 1 learning chemistry yes we will complete the entire chemistry today so in chemistry we have total five lessons and we will start our day with carbon and its compounds yes that's the toughest lesson as well as the lengthiest one so since we are just starting our day we are energetic and we just want to finish everything quickly so we will start with this lesson give it a good amount of time because it is important it has lot of nomenclature reactions and a lot of other stuff spend good amount of time of car on carbon and its compounds and then move on to the remaining four chapters that is chemical reactions and equations metals and nonmetals acids bases and salts and periodic classification of elements and as we all know that these four lessons will not take as much time as carbon and its compounds day 1 we will completely dedicate to chemistry and we will complete all the lessons of chemistry having said that we will start our preparation with carbon and its compounds because it is a high priority lesson and in this lesson i really would not advise you to skip any topic because most of the topics are important for example properties of carbon what are those unique properties of carbon because of which it forms so many carbon compounds now those properties are very important because sometimes you get short questions from there hydrocarbons saturated unsaturated hydrocarbons nomenclature which is very important and all the functional groups like aldehyde ketone alcohol carboxylic acid be prepared with electron dot structure homologous series 
स्टेरिफिकेशंस एपोनिफिकेशन रिएक्शंस इनफैक्ट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इथेनॉल एंड इथेनॉइक एसिड सोप वर्सेस डिटर्जेंट कार्बन कंपाउंड्स वर्सेस आयोनिक कंपाउंड्स नाउ लुकिंग एट दिस लिस्ट यू माइट बी थिंकिंग दैट आई वुड हैव कवर्ड ऑलमोस्ट द एंटायर चैप्टर दैट्स ट्रू बिकॉज व्हेन यू लुक एट दिस लेसन ऑन कार्बन एंड कंपाउंड्स यू टेंड टू गेट क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम एनी कॉर्नर so it's not advisable to skip anything so this chapter might take a lot of your time on day 1 but that's fine and that's the reason we are starting with this lesson even if it takes the entire first half that's okay do it because it's important then you can do the rest of the chapters out of the remaining four chapters these two chapters would be on the next priority list that is periodic classification of elements and in that chapter period modern periodic table and the variation of properties across periods and groups and acids bases and salts so their neutralization reactions equations of salt with acid and base preparation and uses of sodium hydroxide bleaching powder baking soda these are some of the important topics so my advice would be start with carbon and compounds then complete revision for periodic classification of elements and acid bases and salts and then you can uh, work on or then you can revise chemical reactions and equations and metals non metals in metals non metals extraction of metals is more important compared to other topics in chemical reactions and equations balancing an equation you should know that and the types of chemical reactions now all together from the entire chemistry section you can expect around 10, 8 to 10 questions like 8 to 9 or 8 to 10 questions and i think this is very much doable in one day because just the way carbon and it compounds will take a lot of time on the other hand chapters like chemical reactions and equations metals and non metals they are not going to consume a lot of time hum aa chuke hain day 2 pe bahut logo ko dar lag raha hai ki yaar ab din khatam ho rahe hain exams pass aa rahe hain but then remember we have already covered the entire chemistry we have also covered the most important part of physics so today is the biology day we will complete all the important lessons on biology now since we have the entire day and we have these four lessons to study so what i expect is towards the end of the day you might be left with some amount of time i mean not a lot of time but some amount of time so in that some amount of time we can complete one very small lesson which is not a very important lesson you sometimes get one or two questions and that is our environment so basically on the, this day too we will cover all these four important lessons of biology plus our environment on day 2 we will cover the important lessons of biology and majorly we will co cover biology so in that also uh more important lessons like the most important chapters of biology are how do organisms reproduce and heredity and evolution now these two chapters are very important and they are also conceptual chapters to so please do not go for rote learning understand them very uh, nicely and only then you continue to revise so for example in the reproduction lesson you should be aware of regeneration fission male and female reproductive system in humans in plant reproductive system be clear with the process of fertilization pollination process sexual versus asexual reproduction and seed these are some of the important topics when it comes to heredity and evolution mendel's experiment obviously very important and in that only you will cover all these like dominant and recessive traits acquired and inherited traits autosomes and sex chromosomes and then also in this chapter you need to learn about evolution evolution speciation natural selection sex determination so all of these are some of the important topics in fact again in biology these two chapters are the most important chapters and therefore it is advisable to revise them thoroughly so first half of the day spend on these two chapters but do them very nicely then you can work on lessons like control and coordination where you can focus more on the names of hormones the organs which secrete those hormones and their functions uh, you can also focus on life processes uh, now life processes lesson is a vast lesson but when you look at the previous years question papers not 
too many questions come from that lesson having said that you cannot totally ignore the lesson i think it will be a good idea if you fairly have an idea on the various processes for example how exactly the excretory process take place how exactly the circulatory system works what are arteries and veins how are they different from each other similarly how transportation takes place in plants the functions of xylem and phloem so all that i'm trying to say is this lesson is more about understanding the different processes so it is definitely it will definitely be good if you have an idea about the processes but then again i if you haven't studied this lesson ever before do not try to attempt to learn the entire thing on that day because then it will consume a lot of time right so priority wise uh, at least in the last couple of years we have not seen too many questions coming up from this lesson maybe one or two que questions might be there but i mean not more than that but still do not ignore this some of the topics which i have mentioned here try to cover them now uh, my assumption is uh, on day 2 after you are done with these four lessons of biology you will still be left with some time so in fact even if you are not left with some time i want day 1 and day 2 to be more exhaustive because that time you know we are still cool we still have some time for exam because by day 3 we all already get stressed out because the next day is our final exam right so that's why to uh, on this day that is day 2 i would expect you to stretch a bit and also try to cover this lesson on our environment now this is not a very lengthy lesson if you cover only these three topics that is also enough lindemann's law food chain and ozone layer depletion so again you do not get more than one or two questions from this lesson so good to revise it and complete it on day 2 itself finally we are at day 3 aaj kya padhenge i don't think i need to tell you right bio is done chemistry is done physics is partly done right so we will complete the remaining chapters of physics that is we will complete electricity and magnetism in physics besides that we are still pending with two more chapters however those two chapters are not very important but still we can't ignore them as well so we will also cover management of natural resources and sources of energy now these two are comparatively less important lessons but then we will cover all of these so my expectation is all of these four lessons on day 3 will be done by afternoon like 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock types you will be done with it so by basically on day 3 by 4 o'clock you have revised the entire syllabus of class 10th science so what do we do now exactly we will revise so whatever we have studied in the last 3 days wherever we felt that we need a second round of revision this is the time so revise all of that besides that also give a quick round of revision to the formulae in physics and chemistry and also to the diagrams in biology because many a times you are asked to draw diagrams and in a hurry we often forget to revise diagrams so give these small small things a last round of revision in the evening of day 3 so finally we have not left a lot of things for day 3 so uh, out of these four lessons which are left out for day 3 uh, i would say these two lessons are slightly more important than the other two however they are also not very high priority lessons but then yes you can expect maybe two to three questions from these two lessons taken together so electricity in this uh, you should be clear with series and parallel combination of resistances potential difference ka concept sometimes you may get simple numerical problems based on the relationship between p v and r heat dissipation joule's law of heating some of the important topics magnetic effects of current this chapter might consume uh, more time from you because there are a lot of things in this chapter for example electric motor electric generator ac versus dc uh force experienced by current carrying conductor in magnetic field the concept of electromagnetic induction so even though weightage wise it is not a very important chapter but content wise there are a lot of things in this chapter so therefore uh, on day 3 start your day with these two chapters electricity and magnetic effects of current and then maybe towards the afternoon you can quickly complete sources of energy and management of natural resources uh, from where you do not get too many questions so you can just quickly revise the important topics 
in fact renewable and non renewable resources is one important topic which you can quickly revise and my expectation is by 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the evening we should be done with all of these four chapters in fact the way we plan our strategy is such that on day 3 the second half is all free for revision because revision is very critical we have been studying so many chapters for the last 3 days so it is also important that for some topics few topics which we are more uh, doubtful about we do a second round of revision immediately before exam so that's why this evening we will spend in revising whatever we think we need to revise once again and that is where i would like to share a tip that while you have been studying so many things for the last three days wherever you feel that you need to revise it once again please mark that with a pencil so that during this revision time you can quickly revise them besides that uh, do a quick round of revision on all the important formulae and diagrams and you'll be done so with this we are able to complete our class 10 science preparation in these three days and i am 100 percent sure that this strategy will work so i wish you all the very best and i'm sure you'll rock